Hey y'all, Chuck and Paige here with no time to be sad. Hey, today we are headed to Nakom Panom to get the oil changed in the uh, truck. We get it changed, whatever, 10,000 kilometers, something like that. They're really good about calling us up and saying, hey, you need to get your oil changed. Like, I don't know if you really know, how do they know how much I've actually driven? So anyway, we got our, today is our Lao market. So we have a police check. Yeah, every Monday and Thursday here. Paige has gone through a ton of selfie sticks. The little button stops working. I don't know, hang on, let me get this. The little button for the camera keeps uh, going out. I don't know why. Anyway, we're going to go get our oil changed. I want to talk to you guys about uh, some, a lot of information that I have on my YouTube channel that is, I guess it's very difficult for people to see. You know, I've got a lot of videos, I know. I've got a lot of videos. I'm, look at this dog, I'm just going to lay right there. I'm fine, don't worry. That's how everybody is, and that's how life is in Thailand. They just don't really worry too much about crap. <laughs> anyway, so I've got a lot of videos and a lot of information, but as a creator of videos and sharing my life experiences, it becomes irritating when you take the time to do stuff and people don't watch it. Not because they didn't watch it initially, but later on they'll say, hey, why don't you do this or why don't you do that? Or I get a lot of people that make suggestions. Why don't you make a video on this? Well, I have. I mean, thank you for your suggestion, but why didn't you take the time to navigate through the channel and actually see that I, I made a video on that? Or, hey, why don't you come to this place and make a video here? Well, I've been there like 10 times and made several videos. If you're excited about me coming there making videos, why didn't you navigate through the channel and actually see that I made some videos? So anyway, I'm going to show you at the computer how to navigate um, through a YouTube channel. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to navigate through my channel via the computer. The computer is probably the best way to navigate uh, through a YouTube channel. If you watch it on TV, then it's almost impossible. And sometimes doing it on a telephone, it's difficult. So when you get to my channel, this is basically what you see. We have our little intro and then a list of some uploads that we had just recently put in and it stops. Um, a lot of times if you click on this play all, you're limited to what is available. So this little icon here is pretty important. And this right here, I, a lot of times I get people ask me the same things over and over again. I, and the thing for me is, is I took the time to make videos on it, but it's difficult for them to find the videos because there's a large library of videos. So if you click on this little icon here, and one, one popular question I get asked a lot is about taxes, especially for, for Americans coming to Thailand. So if you just type in this little search icon, tax, enter, then you'll get the videos that I talk about tax. I've only got one, right? So this is, then you can click on that and watch it. So um, let's see, let's say you want to know something about, um, say you want to see something about sending money to Thailand. Just type that in. How do I send money? Um, I've done a few Q and A's about it also. It'll say sending money over from the States. Um, a lot of questions about sending money. So 
let's say, how about uh, how much does it cost to live? How much? Let's just say how much money. How about that? Too much money. How I transfer money? Living off of YouTube. What does it cost to live in Thailand? Stuff about money. Another one I get a lot is about my vehicle, about how did I buy it, how much did it cost, um, you know, stuff like this. So let's just type in vehicle. So you can see I made a video on my purchase and, well, there's some stuff in there, but we had it's a lot of travel trailer videos that are still in there. Um, shipping a vehicle in a Q&A. My father-in-law's tuk-tuk shop. Another thing you can do is go to the playlist. And in here is, if you go to, uh, let's say my, I have several different types of playlists. But the blah, blah, blah. Now this is gonna be information, just me blah, 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 and sharing stuff, mostly my experiences. Uh, but can you afford to live in Thailand? Uh, cost of dinner. Uh, let's see, living a healthy life before, before you get married to a Thai woman, know this. <laughs> uh, here's some things to expect when coming to Thailand. You know, there's a lot of information here that uh, you can look at at your leisure, um, blah, blah, blah. And let's just say you want to, uh, you're, a lot of times people say, oh, you should come to Chiang Mai and make a video in Chiang Mai. Well, I've been there. So let's just say Chiang Mai. And then you will see I have several videos in Chiang Mai. Uh, any town that you want to see, let's say, uh, uh, let's say Buriram. Buriram. <laughs> and I have some stuff in Buriram. Anywhere you want to go. Let's try, uh, let's try Kotlipe. I guess you got to spell it right. Kotlipe. There's a lot of information that's easily accessible on my channel. You just got to know how to find it. So yeah, you can uh, easily find like um, my Q and A's. Everyday life in Thailand. This is basically, uh, if you want to watch up uh, family and eating and just what I do on a normal day basis in Thailand. And you can learn a lot about culture and what everyday life here in Thailand by, by watching uh, real activities in Thailand, I guess you could say. But anyway, a lot of, a lot of effort is put into creating a YouTube channel. And um, it's very important as a creator that the people watching your channel know how to navigate through it and get to take advantage of everything that you have shared for them. Also, I have a lot of interviews. People say, oh, you should do some interviews with people. I have done some interviews here. And a lot of the other interviews are just compacted into some other actual videos, either traveling around or stuff like that. But these are some of the uh, interviews that I have saved, just, just interviews, period. Paint just made the appointment this morning. And uh, our appointment's at 10.30. It's 9.43 right now. And the dealership's calling to ask if we're still coming. I had a com I had a couple comments this morning. Some of them are really funny, but <laughs> anyway, one what, what guy goes. I guess I showed some rain in one of my videos and the guy responded, I thought there was a drought in Thailand. Sometimes that stuff makes me laugh. I remember when me and Paige were living in Thailand, her dad would call, are you guys okay? I'm like, yeah, why? Because there's a hurricane or a tornado or something. I'm like, yeah, that's like on the east coast of the United States, you know, we're like, I don't know thousands of miles away from that so I get it you know if they see something oh there's a drought in a certain area in Thailand I guess they think the whole damn country's in a drought even though you could see in the video it was raining but also I had a, and I get a lot of these comments you'll like this one's funny the 
guy says, uh, I don't understand how they eat lettuce and tomatoes and, and vegetables in Thailand uh, because they have to wash. How do they wash the vegetables when you can't drink the water? So I thought to myself, wow, you know how many, mi my first thought, and I don't know, I'm not smart, I just use common sense, I guess. Is, my first thought was, there's millions of people that live in Thailand. Does the guy really think there's some epidemic of everybody just dying off from water contamination in Thailand? Wow, I don't know, but I've never been sick from the water. I mean, it's not like we drink it out of the tap, but I think it's probably better than the water in the United States. You can't even wash your car in the United States. It turns white from chemicals. But we, most people use filtered water and uh, they drink with bottled water, but it's like pennies on the dollar to buy fresh water. But they have water filtration systems. I, I don't know, maybe they think it's a third world country and they're just getting water out of a pond or something. I'm not really sure on that, but anyway, I've never heard of anybody really dying that much because of the water, have you? No. So anyway, I think it's safe. Yeah, it's just rainwater. <laughs> oh yeah, but since we're talking about comments, a few people told me to tell your mom she was crazy because uh, she thinks she could get 7 million baht or 8 million baht for those houses because the, the cost of building stuff is so cheap in Thailand and, and then they, the areas that they live in that you could buy a house like that for no money. Parthenon is very expensive. <laughs> yeah. The thing that gets me... My the, house can get maybe 15. 15, yeah. On the and it costs what, 3 million to build? What? 20 like years ago? 25 years yeah, 25 years ago. But the thing is, it's funny is that, you know, that I could buy a house in Louisiana for what? 90,000? Louis, Louis, by the river, you don't have 30 million, forget it. Yeah, by the river? 30 million bucks? same house in Louisiana, you can go to California and it cost you almost a million million dollars, you know? I don't know how to explain it, but I do know that Top Phnom is one of the it's most expensive. popular places for Thai people in Thailand. And the cost of land is extremely expensive. So, you guys seen the little shack across the street from our house, right? The lady wanted 8 million baht for that. Mm -hmm. Eight. She put a sign up. I was like, oh, shit, let's buy that. I'm thinking, I'll give her like, you know, 500,000 baht. And we'll, you know, we'll build some storage buildings or something. And then her dad goes, oh, she wants 8 million. I'm like, holy crap. Mm -hmm. So I was like, she's never going to sell that. Oh, the thing is, you when you're in the marrow, yeah. in the city, yeah. the price is up. But that's common sense, right? Yeah, the house, you can build the house behind the property. It's a lot and of land. It's a lot of land, yeah. and it is next to the hospital. Right. And it's next to the college. So she sold it. She sold it. But she did sell it, right? Yeah. The, the place across the street. Oh, yeah. The, now we're talking about the little shack across the street. Oh, they sold it. Yeah. For seven. Yeah, seven million. Sold it. But Paige is saying that the house that her mom has is near a hospital on a main road yeah. close to Ta Phanom Temple. And it's in the Nakong Phanom province, which is expensive. it's expensive. So anyway. Yeah. That's why it makes no sense to buy anything really as a foreigner. You're, you can rent that thing for a hundred dollars a month. Why would you spend eight million baht to buy the damn thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're here. This is a pretty nice, very big dealership. I know a lot of you guys have seen this in some of my videos. But let's go check out some new car prices, okay?
Now she's gonna try to upsell Paige. This is a huge building inside here. They have uh, snacks for you, coffee, tea. We're gonna go to the, let's go check out the price of these cars. I don't want that though. <laughs> let's see, a four door Helux is i don't have my glasses let's see hang on i gotta put my glasses oh here it is seven hundred and twenty five thousand baht for that so what day cop good morning this is a nice one here Seven hundred and sixty-three thousand baht. Not bad, right? What is that like? Twenty, twenty thousand. The only thing that's really expensive is that is my truck, the four tuner, which is like a loaded a couple million baht. Pre runner, eight hundred and forty thousand. Yeah. nice anyway there's an idea on some pricing for new Toyotas we'll go check out a uh, little Corolla next I think those are the cheapest the Camry's expensive <laughs> awesome and this little Corolla I thought would be cheaper but it's not 600,000 This one is 639, but it has nice wheels. Okay, let's go see. Everybody's staring at me now. They'll probably say, you can't video in here. <laughs> I doubt it. What you doing, babe? Some tea? My alcohol. My alcohol. Can I get, is that free? Mm -hmm. All right. yeah. I'm gonna get some of that. What's in here, a sandwich? <laughs> Nam Kang. Nam Kang. <laughs> oh, Sala Pao, Ao Pao. Okay. They <laughs> have Sala Pao and chips. <laughs> so if you call in and get an appointment you get free sign up out <laughs> yeah, let's look at some of uh, gorky Oh, looks like they're done. <coughs> Yay. The only, this dealership is an awesome experience to come to. It's always, everybody's trying to give you food and drinks and free Wi-Fi and Thai TV. And, but it takes them a long time to, uh, to, to get the bill together every time we come it uh it takes them longer to do the bill than it takes them to uh to do the oil change but 
I don't know. We came early. It'll be perfect timing for lunch, I think. Okay, finished. Not bad, 1400 baht. And it does come with a free car wash, but uh, we don't want it because it's raining. Yeah. But she gave me a coupon for a free car wash, so. My, my, um, my Anaka. Kapunaka. <laughs> Thank you, Chong Oh, oi. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that's it. Usually she pops the hood and lets us look, but I think because I have my camera in the hand. <laughs> Okay, let's go. They don't put a sticker in the window like uh, they do back in the States. They give you some little stupid thing. I don't know where you're supposed to hang this thing. <laughs> we just stick it in the glove box. And uh, we have to dig through them to try to figure out when. But they usually call you. They're really good about calling you. The service is crazy. But I'm glad I don't speak Thai because they always call us when we're on our road trip wanting a, a survey always a survey surveys here too let's go find some lunch yeah see all that fencing right there mm -hmm. they got it here this is the other part of the bike path it actually collapsed they built it back up but there's another section over there that collapsed too. They didn't go down deep enough with the pillars. But anyway, it's going to be a cool bike path soon. As long as it doesn't collapse on you. Let's go eat some food. There's a place over here I want to take Paige that has Falang food. And uh, the lady is, uh, I had her in that one of my videos. But anyway, let's go check it out. So what, Nick? How, how are you? Good. How was your trip? Very good. Very good. <laughs> how was it? Your trip? Oh, good. Very good. Always good. Always fun. Fun. So you went to back to the UK and you went to uh, Morocco. Morocco. Yeah, Morocco. And I went to Paris. And Paris. Paris. How was Paris? Very good. Paris. 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 <laughs> Germany. To Germany. She's a world traveler. World traveler. It's almost finished, huh? Yeah. Okay. How long have you been back? Three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. I wanted to come here the other day, but it was raining. I was on my bicycle. I couldn't make it. So, very good. What thing do you like that? Um, not that. What do you want? <laughs> oh, she's never met Paige. She just walked up and gave you a gigantic hug. <laughs> Must be the shirt. Happy shirt. <laughs> if you're in Nakom Panom, you gotta come here and eat at this place. I'll share a link again, uh, Riverside. Well, I don't care what the critics say. Here's to a great life. Love you. Life in Thailand is great. Laos. That's Lao over there. The river is up so much right now. Thanks, China. I guess I had too much water.
Yeah, this man, I, this thing eventually is coming to Top Panom. This uh, bike path. I'm so excited if they had this all the way to Muktahan, a hundred and something kilometers. That would be really cool, but they're gonna have to have some kind of some kind of bathroom stop or something. I don't know. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Well, Paige got spaghetti and she got some garlic bread. That looks pretty good. Garlic bread in Thai is kanompang gatiam. Kanompang gatiam. Gatiam is uh, garlic. Kanompang is bread. Yeah. There it is. And the coleslaw is very good. It's not the same Wow. <laughs> wow, that looks good with the Parmesan cheese. Very cool. Taste it. See how it let's see how it tastes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's try the hamburger. Mm. Well guys, that's it. Relaxing day today on the river. Nice lunch, nice beer. Oil change went perfect. I hope you guys uh, can learn a little bit how to navigate around the YouTube channel. There's a lot of information that I like to share for you guys, uh, but I always get the same thing about why don't you create a video about the topic I've already made a video on, uh, a few videos on. So anyway, I hope you can navigate through the channel and check out some of the stuff. And uh, if you have suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment. I always do appreciate that. And I try to share links if possible uh, to the videos that I've already created. So anyway, guys, life is still good here in Thailand. Today was a great day and I know tomorrow will be just as great. Thank you for watching. Please click like, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys tomorrow maybe tomorrow on the next video. Bye.